Howdy, booktubers. It's Holly, a very, very dazed and slightly rattled Holly here to do a book review for you today for the book This Is Not a Test by Courtney Summers. Holy French the Llama. You guys, I just literally finished this book like 15 minutes ago and I had to make this video unlike what an intelligent person would do which would be to try and process exactly what I just read and sort of let my emotions settle before trying to express what I'm feeling about this book screw that I I have to talk about it okay so here I am now this book um, I I don't know why I feel very fortunate but I don't know why that the the net galley gods decided to smile upon me and and let me um, be accepted for an arc of this book. It doesn't come out until June, and I know a lot of people who put in requests for this book that were denied, so I feel extremely fortunate that I was even able to read this book at all. So thank you so much to Nat Galley and Courtney Summers and everybody else who may have had any part of, of letting me read this book. Now, this book is a dystopian slash zombie apocalypse book. And it is about a girl named Sloane who when the book starts we see her in her house and we find out she's in a very very abusive situation with her father and her sister who pretty much was the only person she could count on who protected her has run away and has left her abandoned her to this situation with her father and on this particular day when the book starts Sloan has decided that she's going to kill herself, and she's written a suicide note to her sister, and before anything can happen, lo and behold, the zombie apocalypse starts. So, she ends up really, like, in a, in a sort of daze, kind of how I feel <laughs> right now, after having read the book, um, she ends up hiding out at her high school with five other students, and they barricade themselves into this um, high school and the rest of the book is what happens um, with the whole very very skewed sort of POV of this girl who basically wants to die while they're, the end of the world is, is happening but she's among these five people who are like desperate to try and survive this experience and I don't, I can't say anything else about it really because I don't want to ruin anything for anybody who reads this book, but this book was the best zombie book that I have ever, ever, ever read. There is so much tension. <laughs> it is, it has, totally has the creep factor and just like, the the last part of this book, I, sh I, I'm trying not to curse. I'm really trying not to curse. <laughs> and the last part of this book, like the last third of this book, I was on my couch and I was all like curled in on myself and I was like so tense. I didn't, I couldn't even move. I knew something really, really horrible was going to happen. I knew it was leading up to something really horrible and I knew it was coming and I wanted to stop reading because I didn't want to see, I didn't want to read it happen, read, read about it happening, but I could not stop reading this book. I started it yesterday. It's not a very long book, but I started it yesterday. I went to work today, and I could not wait to get off work so I could finish this book. You guys, I sound like a complete idiot right now, and I don't even care. It's just, I had to make this video to tell you guys, if and when you get the opportunity to get this book, you have got to read it. It is absolutely, mind-blowingly amazing. Yes. And when it's actually released in June, I just might sit my butt down and do another video where I actually talk about all the things that just completely blew my mind and all of the many, 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 many reasons why this book is so amazing. But yes, deep breaths. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I, yeah, okay. Um, I read on Goodreads. I believe that they're closer to the release date. They're going to put it back up on NetGalley, so you need to put your requests in to try and get this book. I am as soon as it's up for for presale on Amazon, I am going to order it. And yeah, I just <sighs> that's pretty much it. This wasn't really 
a review video so much as a video for me just spazzing out about this book. I don't remember the last time I've gotten this excited over a book that I've read. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so. <laughs> I will shut up, and you guys can stop watching this video and stop laughing at me and thinking that I'm a crazy person. But, yes, this is not a test. Courtney Summers, get this book as soon as you possibly can because it is phenomenal, okay? Phenomenal. Take my word for it. I don't get this riled up, this excited, this, like, completely want to, like, jump out of my skin over a book very often. And when I do... Lord help you, because I'll be making videos to tell you about it. So yeah, that's it. I'm done. <sighs> Thanks for watching, and I apologize sincerely for my erratic behavior. I, I will try to keep this behavior to a minimum in the future, but yes. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Happy reading.